friends welcome to tech ark it youtube channel my name is ravi in this video session we are going to learn about while loop okay what is this while loop and how the while loop is used okay the while loop means that uh, the first control whenever you say the first control checks the condition if condition is true then only the statements will be executed after executing the statement again the control checks the condition if condition is true then again the statements will be executed till given condition is false which means that so what we are going to say that it's continuously go to the check the condition and execute if the condition is true execute the statement condition is true execute the statement condition is true execute the statement if the condition is false when the condition is false then it's going to exit the script and execute the false statement and ex exit from the loop so this is a um, uh, simple example say while loop so example i am saying that um, uh, while so maybe i am writing some uh, condition over here say the condition is true then it's going to do a value is uh, whatever we given over here then it comes over here same again if i want to do something over here then it verifies that values then done then it exit from the script so like that what happens it is that it's going to be if the condition is true is going to execute again it's going to check condition if it is true then it's going to execute so until the while the condition is come to the false then the while script not exit from the its loop so that is the while statement over here so let's example say that uh, we are going to create a uh, while loop over here and uh, we are going to execute a while while loop statement and say uh, in this using the while loop statement i am going to write some uh, tables like two table three table four table so whatever the table the number you given it's going to print that tables over here so that is the uh, example say print any given number table okay so it's going to print any given number table over here using the while loop so that is the uh, statement over here so what what the while loop we are going to say uh, first of all i am going to take some input from the user saying that uh, please provide one value so any value which may be so they are going it's going to uh, print that um, values table over here so maybe i am going to store that value into c and say i am writing the while loop over here within the condition say uh, dollar i i am assigning this dollar value is uh, less than 10 okay the condition is going to check here over here then do uh, maybe i am assigning these values to the b says um, expr then verify that uh, dollar c value uh, into oh sorry do into into dollar i so what it's going to do is that the, the b value is doing something like uh, if the dollar value here i which is uh, what are the number you enter which should be less than 10 number sorry which uh, which is the value is going to be assigned to the uh, dollar the value over here the c then it's going to the first value is going to be verified that dollar i value is less than 10 then do something this okay let's say echo and say i'm going to enter dollar c into dollar i equal to dollar b so it's going to write these values over here which means that it's going to print all these values over here and uh, i'm incrementing this i value to the dollar i plus one so what happens whenever the, you enter the value so the I, I value comes with over here say that okay so the i value is less than 10 then says that um dollar c what are the value you provided into 
i then it's going to be give the value then that value is incremented the i value will be incremented plus one plus one plus one something like that until the loop will be exited like the uh, the loop will be keep on checking until the value is less than 10 if the value is less than or equal to 10 then the loop will be execute execute if the value is 11 which means the condition is not true which is not less than or equal to 10 then it's going to be uh, end this script over here okay let's say uh, sh and say while loop enter some value i am going to enter 2 so what happens it's going to verify something okay nothing maybe i missed up something okay so sorry i did not declared i value over here so that's why uh, the i is not saying so first of all we have to de define some values over here okay and say sh and while loop say 2 then it's going to print the 2 table if you enter 3 then it's going to print the 3 table if you are going to enter uh, maybe while loop sorry while loop and i'm going to enter 10 then it's going to print 10 table or if i going to enter 9 then it's going to enter 9 table so any table if you want to print then you can just enter that number and it's going to print how it's going to do that so the while loop first of all it takes the value the user input from uh, user and it store into the c variable and after that we declare the i value is equal to one then the first while the i value is going to set, verify that the variable i equal to less than or equal to 10 yes it is less than or equal to 10 it's going to do expr and the whatever the value we given dollar c into one in the sense in this case first of all one then two uh, into one in first example then it's going to display that dollar c value and dollar i value and dollar b value over here and again it comes to the over here say uh, i value is incremented by plus one so before it was one then plus one is two now again it's go back and verify that okay dollar i is less than or equal to 10 yes it is dollar uh, less than 10 then again it's going to do all this stuff like this until the dollar i value is 11 it's going to execute this while loop so that is about the while loop i hope you understand uh, the while loop better maybe if you do not understand please comment the session where you did not understand maybe i'm going to make some other uh, uh, example with while loop thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.